ओके सो क्लॉक फ्लो अलाउज द स्कोप ऑफ ए क्लॉकिंग इवेंट टू एक्सटेंड इन ए नैचुरल वे through various ports of multiply clocked sequence and properties and reduces the number of places at which the same clocking event must be specified clock flow allows the scope of a clocking event to extend in a natural way through various ports of multiply clocked sequences and properties and reduces the number of places at which the same clocking event must be specified For example, uh, look at here. C and D are clocks, and X, Y, Z indicates expression. Okay. Now, uh, what we are doing at at C, C is a clocking event. You consider it is a positive edge of clock or negative edge of the clock. Okay, clocking event. After that, what uh, the X expression should evaluate, and uh, then this is what non-overlapping, right? So non-overlapping implication operator. after that at passage of uh, at of this clock see the same clock why should uh, occur then one clock cycle later we are expecting another clock edge another clock event then is it right this is on uh, clock flow right now we can rewritten this same statement like this how at clock c clocking event c x should occur then yeah at passage of or at negative of clock clocking event because both the same click right sorry clock okay so why we are expecting y so after one clock cycle uh, delay we are expecting d is the same thing at passage of clock event d uh, we are expecting d okay so because clock c is understood to flow across this thing what a non overlapping implication yeah now we'll see the thing so clock flow allows the scope of a clocking event to extend in a natural way through various parts of multiply clock day sequences and properties therefore it reduces the number of places at which the same clocking event must be specified and the uh, second point is intuitively uh, clock flow provides that in a multiply clocked sequence or property the scope of a clocking event flows left to right across linear operators okay so clock flow will uh, we should consider the clock flow from left to right examples for these things are repetition what are all the linear operators you know repetition operator concatenation operator negation and implication these are all some uh, linear operators so if you are using these operator in those uh, sequences or properties then the clock flow should be from left to right and then uh, it uh, distributes to the operands of branching operators branching operators and all what conjunction and uh, disjunction intersection if else these are all branching operators until it replaced by a new clocking event so once again i will read this point clocking event flow from left to right across linear operators and distributes to the operands of branching operators until it is replaced by a new clock